I'm Noreen and welcome back to my kitchen today. We have a special treat for you. Today we are going to make our very own no cook instant vanilla and chocolate pudding mixes. These are super easy to make so let's go see how these all come together. we're going to go over all the ingredients. Today we are going to be making homemade instant no cook chocolate and vanilla pudding mix. Now I know it's easy to go to the grocery store and buy pudding mix. I do it a lot. I use a, I have a lot of recipes that require a pudding mix but you know what there are some ingredients in those pudding mixes that people just simply don't want to eat. A lot of chemicals and preservatives and additives and artificial flavor and artificial color. You can make your own very simply but you are going to have to have a specialty ingredient and you've heard me talk about it before and it's instant clear gel very important that is the instant kind because the instant kind works with the no cook method now this is the kind of pudding mix just like you buy from the store that you're going to have to add milk to you can use whatever kind of milk you can use cow's milk goat's milk cashew milk almond milk coconut milk, soy milk, rice milk, whatever is your personal choice and you're going to be able to have a nice creamy pudding consistency. You'll be also be able to use this pudding mix to add to recipes. I will give you the, um, the amounts because at the end of the day a half a cup equals a box of pudding and no more. So you may have seen recipes like that, this out on the internet that require cooking. Instant doesn't mean you should cook it. And so we're going to go ahead and make one that requires zero cooking. You're going to be able to make this just like the grocery store kind by mixing it up, sitting it in your fridge and moving on. So super simple. The vanilla requires just a few ingredients and so does the chocolate. You're going to need instant clear gel, which is easily accessible. I will put a link down below where you can purchase the very same brand that I use, which is Cornaby's Ultra Gel and is GMO free. It is instant and it is really, really good. So two cups of instant clear gel, two cups of granulated sugar. And down here we have a teaspoon of vanilla powder, a half a teaspoon of turmeric for color, and a half a teaspoon of salt. The chocolate is almost identical, except we've got two cups of granulated sugar, two cups of instant clear gel, a cup and a half of Dutch processed cocoa, and I'll also leave a link to my favorite brand of cocoa, which is this from the prepared pantry, which is the medium dark Dutch processed cocoa. Rick's friends put me on to the, in the prepared pantry cocoa. It is the best I have ever used. What we're gonna use here for flavoring is a half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of vanilla powder. We're also gonna add, in, we're gonna add vanilla extract when we make it up, when we mix it with the liquid. But what I'm gonna do now is clear, bring over the food processor, and we'll go take you through the process of how to make this stuff. Okay, we're gonna blend up our vanilla pudding mix first, and then we're gonna blend up our chocolate because that makes sense. First thing, very important, make sure that the container of your food processor is very, very dry. You can also do this in a standard blender and it will work the same. Basically, you wanna make sure everything gets ground up together and when you live in Humidityville, things stick. So there goes our sugar and our ultra gel instant clear gel and here goes our salt vanilla powder and turmeric just a little turmeric if you want to add a full teaspoon you can it's just gonna be a little bit of a darker color if you don't want to add it at all you can leave it out but your pudding isn't gonna have that traditional yellowy hue that it does when you buy it in the store so we're just gonna turn this on and let it rip for a few I'd say about a minute all right this has blended for plenty of time. Now, you just want to give it a few seconds to settle because there's going to be there's going to be some pudding smoke there, folks, and you don't want to breathe that. <laughs> if you're a fan of the Blend Tech videos, you'll understand. So, just give it a moment to settle down and it's going to be a little bit gritty. Pudding smoke. 
But you see, it almost resembles very closely vanilla pudding mix that you would purchase in the grocery store. And now all you have to do is spoon this into an awaiting jar. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. The important thing is to let it run long enough so that it gets a nice cohesive blend. All right, let's make the chocolate pudding mix. We're gonna put in our sugar, our clear gel, our cocoa powder, And by volume, this one's gonna make just a little bit more. And our salt and vanilla powder. And again, we're gonna put the lid on here. And we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna let it blend for at least a minute. All right, this has blended the requisite amount of time. This doesn't seem to be as smoky as the vanilla. And I think that's because the cocoa has a little bit of a moisture content to it. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure everything is, is blended up really well. We're gonna spoon this into a jar and I'm gonna do that off camera and when we come back, we're gonna make some pudding so you guys can see what it looks like. So we'll be back and we'll mix some up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make up one batch each of this pudding mix. So I have already measured out a half a cup of each mix. You can see that the chocolate mix makes considerably more than the vanilla, and that's because of the bulk created by the cocoa. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the, the chocolate mix, and I have two cups of milk here. Like I said, you can use whatever kind of dairy or non-dairy milk you like, and we're just gonna get in here with a whisk. You can already see it starting to get thick. You can go ahead and add another spoonful of your pudding mix. I feel like if you just let this hang out for a minute, it's gonna get thicker. I'm just gonna pop the lid on it and stick that in the fridge, and we'll be right back. Well, we're gonna mix up the vanilla too. All right, we're gonna mix up our vanilla pudding just the same way. I've got a half a cup of the vanilla mix and two cups of milk. Oh yeah. We need a tablespoon of vanilla extract in here. Just like that. This will also help to impart some additional color. And it's not gonna look exactly the same as the stuff in the box because it doesn't have artificial powdered color. And also it doesn't have artificial powdered flavor. So, you know. Okay, we're gonna whisk this up the same. We're gonna put this in the fridge for five minutes and then we'll be back and we'll show you what it looks like. There you have it. Delicious, homemade, no cook, instant pudding in a matter of moments. This mix is gonna be coming in really handy for you, especially with back to school coming up. Now, I do need to tell you, I will make sure that the how to make instructions are on the website. I started off with a half a cup of mix and two cups of milk, but in the end, it's one cup of mix and two cups of milk. And if you want it thicker from there, then you're gonna wanna add a little bit more. So um, this consistency that we got is absolutely perfect. And I'll show it to you. But don't worry because you're gonna be able to get the, um, the instructions on my website. I'll leave a link down below. And I'm gonna give this a taste. Delicious. The chocolate is super rich and delicious mm -hmm. because of the cocoa. People, I'm telling you, that is the best doggone cocoa ever. The vanilla. And you see how this one looks a little bit on the thicker side? If you don't want it that thick, then you can add a little milk if you get it too thick. Or you can just back off on the mix. And that is lovely and vanilla-y. Yes, it is. Very and good. also... I did put a tablespoon of vanilla in the chocolate pudding also. This is awesome. And who doesn't just love a little bowl of pudding for dessert topped with a little whipped cream? It's all good. So that's how you make homemade, no cook, instant vanilla and chocolate pudding mixes. I hope that you give this a try. 
I want to thank you for joining me today. If you like the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my kitchen, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, please remember to hit the bell notification button so you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this homemade no-cook instant pudding a try. I know you're going to love it. And until next time, I'll see ya!